All right, so I have uh, an Android server. Um, you can see here it's a Ryzen 5 2600 six core with 12 threads. Uh, and I had a error a couple of days ago with uh, this specific drive here. Uh, as you can see, this is a WD Green two terabyte drive. Uh, it's been running well, but uh, a couple of days ago, this drive uh, started exhibiting a lot of errors. Uh, had a lot of errors here and it would not mount. I had to reformat the drive to XFS um, before I could get it up and running again. Uh, but I resynced the parity and everything seemed to work fine. Uh, but I don't trust the drive anymore, uh, simply because, as you can see here, this drive is old. It's almost approaching eight years of uh, use, and uh, yeah, it's 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 it it's done. This drive is pretty much done, and you can see here some raw error, uh, raw read error rates are going on here. So I just want to change the drive. So I've got a WD Red four terabyte to replace it with. What I am going to do is, since my parity is all valid, everything is good. Uh, I am going to do that. So uh, let's follow the instructions. Uh, unraid, say, say stop the array. All right, so let's do that. Let's stop the array. All the drives are spun up now. Uh, it's going to stop some services, uh, mostly the Docker's uh, containers that I have. I don't have any VMs, but uh, Docker containers are going to stop. Once those are all stopped, it's going to uh, take the array offline. And depending on the uh, amount of Docker containers you have, this might take couple of minutes so just sit tight while that's done there we go so the array is now offline the disk that I want to replace is uh, disk number three here so if you look here let's double check here uh, yeah that's the one with seven years of lifespan on it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that and we're gonna hit no device okay so disk three is now marked as missing which is all right uh, there we go you can see here disk is missing uh, and all we're going to do now is power down the device. Once it's powered down, I'm going to replace the drive. I'm going to assign it back to disk 3 again, and it's going to take care of all the rebu rebuilding process. And hopefully after a couple of hours, I'll have all my data back up. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we're back again. Did the hard drive swap. It was pretty easy. And as you can see here, Unraid started up. The array is... Uh, currently uh, disabled it stopped and you can see here that disk uh, 3 is missing and you can see that it's the 2 terabyte drive that is removed however the drop down now shows the 4 terabyte disk there the this is the WD red uh, just one quick uh, note is that uh, your biggest drive has to be equal to or smaller than the parity drive my parity drive is a 4 terabyte drive so this drive is going to work just fine. So I select that. You can see here that all existing data will be overwritten. And just hit start. It is going to format the drive in XFS. Once it does that, it's going to start the array. And once it starts the array, it's also going to uh, run the parity sync. So as you can see here, it's XFS. The drive is up and running. Uh, you can see here that the contents are emulated uh, and you can see here the pop-up shows that the contents is being reconstructed as we speak. So you can see here that uh, all these drives are doing reads and this drive is doing the write. So basically it's reconstructing all the data into this drive here. Um, the data is not that big. It's about 500 gigs. Uh, so it should take about, uh, well, 17 hours. Should be a little bit quicker than that, but... Yeah, I think in about six, seven hours, it should be done. That's pretty much it. That's how you replace a drive in Unraid. Just one more thing is that uh, I have another drive here, which is also quite old, six years. Uh, and uh, I guess in uh, some Christmas sales, I'll pick up another drive and replace this one. But the procedure to do the uh, drive replacement is going to be exactly the same. The only thing is that when you're doing this drive, you cannot uh, say stop it and change it with another drive. You're going to ruin your whole array. So when this finishes, that's when I'll do this drive. So that'll be probably be in a couple of days. All right, guys. So that is how you replace a faulty drive in Unraid. Pretty, pretty easy. Pretty slick. Unraid has been great to me and yeah, isn't hard.